All right, let's get started with our warrior yoga. So let's start today by coming to our mats and let's cross our legs and let's sit super tall. We're just gonna start by coming into those long, deep, smooth breaths. And as we sit, remind ourselves there's no judgment, competition, or expectation. And with each breath, let's let our mind slowly become quiet. Let that sense of tranquility and peace just kind of slowly wash. Just kind of envision and feel it kind of seeping throughout your body. Very gently, let's slowly start to take our head just side to side. Just gently dropping those ears towards the shoulders. Let's let those shoulders become super heavy as we lengthen our spine and pull our shoulder blades together. And now let's just take our head and just turn it side to side. Just like we're shaking our head no. Now let's take our chin to our chest. Just gently bring our chin up. While we're doing this, let's make sure that spine stays long. Start to get distracted with a little bit of movement. Let's keep our awareness into that back and into those shoulder blades. And again, let's go ear to shoulder. And now let's go do that no motion side to side. And now chin to chest. Up and down, nice and gently. We're encouraging blood flow into the neck through the upper back. And now let's drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Let's press out with that left hand just a little bit to intensify the stretch just a little bit on the left side. And again, let's make sure we're sitting up super tall. And now let's return to center and let's switch sides. So dropping the left ear to the left side, and let's press out with that right hand. Just pressing through the heel of the hand. And now let's come back to center. And let's drop that chin to the chest. And again, we just breathe into the tightness wherever we are, wherever we feel those tight muscles in our poses. Let's just breathe into it, envision that breath coming into those muscles. Now back to center. Now let's turn our head towards the right. Just look over towards the side.
And now let's slowly switch sides. And now back to center. Let's take a deep breath in and let's roll now through the upper back, exhaling and pressing out. And with your breath at your pace, let's inhale up, lace those fingers, roll slowly through the back. Slowly inhale, slowly exhale. Now with your next breath, let's exhale and let's press open those shoulder blades and let's pause. Let's come into that breath. Now let's return to that seated position. Now let's take a deep breath and we're gonna gently turn towards the right side on the exhale, just a gentle twist. Of course, lengthening the spine, pulling the head up towards the ceiling. And now let's slowly release and let's take another deep breath in and exhale and slowly come to the other side. Now let's slowly come back to center. Let's take a deep breath in. We're gonna gently come to that side stretch and let's flow side to side. So let's remind ourselves to stretch those fingers towards the ceiling and then gently bring them to the side. We move with our breath. So as we inhale, we gently move. And as we exhale, we gently flow. Now with your next breath, let's come to the right side and let's pause. Let's open up that chest as we lengthen the spine and pull the shoulder blades together. And now let's slowly come to the other side. Super tall stretch. Now let's return to that seated position. We're gonna to return to our next stretches. So let's take that ear to the shoulder and gently go side to side. Now let's pause on that right side and let's press out that left arm Press through the heel, through the heel of the hand, get a nice stretch up the left side, release that tension. So now let's slowly switch sides, let's drop the left ear to the left side and let's press the heel of the hand. Drop that chin to the chest. So 
thinking of lifting that chin up. Let's turn the head towards the right side. I'm looking over the shoulder. Now let's slowly come to the other side. Back to center. Now let's close your seated cat cow. So I want you to exhale and then inhale and lift. And gently roll your spine, allowing that head and that neck to flow naturally with the spine. As we exhale back, stretch it out. Inhale and lift. Drop the shoulders down. Now let's inhale and let's pause and just stretch up. Pinch those shoulder blades just a little tighter together. And now let's exhale back, let's round it back. And again, let's sit super tall. Let's extend one leg out, tuck that leg in, and let's come forward to get that inner thigh. Flex that foot, press that leg into the mat. And when we're ready, let's sit up tall. Let's take that deep breath, and let's bring that hand out towards the foot as we open up the chest. Inhaling up super tall. Let's turn the shoulders towards that long leg. We hinge from the hips and we slowly come forward. Now inhaling up tall, let's switch legs. Same thing on the other side. And slowly come forward, get that nice little stretch in the inner thigh. Press that leg in, stretch it up, and then over towards those toes. Now inhaling up, turning towards that long leg, let's hinge from the hip, slowly up towards that leg. We're stretching out that hamstring now into the back. Keep those toes up on that long leg, pull them towards your face. And again, coming up tall, let's cross those legs again. And again, let's flow through that cat and cow, exhaling, inhaling, dropping those shoulders. Let's see if we can grow a little bit taller as we inhale up into that cow. Stretch out the back. And now let's extend out both legs and go to a seated straddle split. Again, coming forward if we need to to get that stretch in the inner thighs. 
You're gonna sit up tall, lengthen that back, and exhale, hinging always from the hips here. You can use those blocks if you choose to. Okay, so I just want your back super long. You're gonna pause here and we are gonna breathe. Really lengthen, lift through the hips, and you're going to feel how you can intensify gently that stretch in the inner thigh. So I'm just going to pause here. We need a little bit of extra tension here to get that tension to loosen up. Remember, the nice thing about the blocks is you can slowly adjust them. Let your body kind of overrides that stretch and loosens up the muscles. And now let's inhale up. Now if we can, let's cross those legs. Once again, we are gonna to return to that neck stretch. So this is that neck, an extra stretch today. So let's go side to side with those ears. Now let's drop the right ear to the right shoulder, press out with that left hand through the heel of the hand. Now let's slowly switch sides, let's drop the left ear, to the left side, press through the Heel of the right hand, and again, let's sit super tall. And now returning to center, let's drop that chin to the chest. And inhaling up and let's turn that chin towards the right shoulder. Let's grow a little bit taller. And now let's switch and let's go to the left side. And keeping those shoulders pulled back. And now to center, we're gonna to return to those straddle splits. So let's take those legs out again. Let's come forward, grab the blocks if you like them. Come up super tall. Exhale down, hinging from the hip. Let's just rest and pause and breathe. Pull those toes up.
I'm taking a deep breath. Let's come up tall. Let's extend those legs out in front. Now let's take a deep breath and we're gonna come into a seated forward fold on the exhale. So let's come forward. And we're just trying to melt into this as much as you can. We do that by breathing and letting our body slowly, gently, get deeper into the pose. Now let's come up tall. Let's come over onto our knees, onto all fours. We're gonna flow now through our regular cat and cow. So let's stack those knees and those hips. And when you're ready, let's exhale and inhale. And as we inhale up, let's drop the shoulders down. Exhale, pull into that cat. Exhale. Inhale. Let's press back into a child's pose and let's pause and sink in that child's pose. Now let's inhale up and let's come into our kneeling camel so we can open up our chest. So inhaling up, exhaling, place those hands on the lower back and let's lift, drop the shoulders down, lengthen the spine, reminding ourselves it's just a gentle, natural bend back, nothing extreme. Kind of let that chin flow naturally with the spine, the neck, lighten up those glutes. Now let's exhale and let's sink back again into our child pose. Now let's come in and thread the needle. So let's inhale up. Let's take the hand and just thread it underneath with that palm up. We're trying to sink back, pressing gently into the shoulders. And let's just pause. And again, we're always making sure those shoulders are pulled away from those ears.
and again, inhaling up, let's switch sides. So big breath as we slowly come down. Think back on this side. And again, inhaling up, we're going to return to that kneeling camel on the exhale. And let's drop those shoulders. Let's get that nice stretch through the chest into the front of the shoulders. Now let's exhale back into that child pose. Now let's inhale forward. We're going to return to our cat and cow. So let's make sure those fingers are spread wide on our mat. And then when we're ready, let's slowly flow through our cat and cow. And let's pull with our core muscles right through our belly button. And now let's press up into a downward dog or we can come to breathe in our child pose. If we're in our downward dog, let's pedal those heels. Now let's press both heels towards our mat. Now let's keep the left leg long in the air. We're going to come into our pigeon pose. So I'm pressing through my heel and I'm going to gently bring that leg forward. I'm going to come into my pigeon pose. So again, pigeon pose, anywhere you can get into pigeon pose, you're going to get some great benefits from it. So I feel from all, everything that we've done up to this point, I can tell I'm a lot looser in my hips what I normally am when we come into pigeon pose. So I'm lengthening my shoulders, I'm lengthening my back, I have a nice long back. And now let's slowly release back into our downward dog or our child pose. And when we're ready, let's come to the right side. I'm taking my right leg long in the air, pressing through my heel so I can gently bring it forward. Let's get that pigeon pose, finding what works for me. And then I'm going to come into my breath.
And now let's come out of this pigeon pose. Let's return to our downward dog. And again, let's pedal the heels. Allowing my chest to fall towards my thighs. And now let's press both heels into our mat. Now let's slowly come to all fours. Let's press back into child pose. And again, inhaling up. We're going to come back into that kneeling camel one last time. Hold those shoulders, fingers pointed down on our lower back. Let's lift and lengthen. As we come back into that breath and let's, let's lift that chest just a little bit more. I just kind of drew my chest up just a slight bit and it made a huge difference. So let's just try and lift just a little bit more. Kind of puff out your chest. Now let's slowly come to all fours. Now we're going to open up those hips. So let's bring the left foot on the outside of the left hand, keeping that knee over the ankle. We can use the blocks here. We're just going to gently open up that hip. So let's just press open that hip. Kind of draw those shoulders down. Now let's slowly release and let's bring the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Let's come with a nice hip opener on the right side. And let's slowly release this thing back into that child's pose. Gently coming forward. Now we're going to bring the left foot in between the hands and we are going to just gently come up into a nice um, stretch for the hip flexor in the back. So we're stretching out the back leg. So let's lift the spine super tall, drop those shoulders, that knee over that ankle. We're pressing that four corners of that front foot into our mat to help with our balance, to activate our muscles. We're pulling our core in. Now let's slowly release and let's switch sides. So coming to all fours, 
right foot forward, inhaling up, dropping the shoulders. We're stretching the back, that hip flexor in the back. So we're going to do that by lengthening the spine. Let's stack our shoulders over our hips. Now let's release here and let's return to that child pose. Let's inhale forward. Let's come to one hip. Let's extend those legs out long. If we have a strap, let's grab that strap and we're going to place it along the balls of our feet. So that we can inhale tall and hinge from the hips. Just stretch out those hamstrings. Now let's release, let's draw that left foot in beside the right leg. As we sit super tall, we can cross it over if we choose to. Lengthen the leg, twisting from the shoulders, and let's gently twist towards that bent leg. Now let's slowly untwist from the shoulders. Let's switch sides. So let's draw the right leg in, cross it over if it's available to us, sitting tall, lengthening that leg as we slowly twist. Let's slowly release back to center, legs out in front. One more time, coming into that uh, seated forward fold. So sitting tall, exhaling. We just breathe into this. Inhaling, let's come into our butterfly pose. So let's draw those feet together. Sitting tall, we can place the blocks. If we need to underneath those knees for support. We are sitting tall. We are inhaling, lengthening, exhaling forward. Opening up our hips. Super tall. Breathe into this pose.
on your inhale, let's lengthen a little longer. Let's exhale and come forward just a little bit more into those hips. Now, inhaling tall, let's extend the legs out long in front. You're going to draw one knee into our chest, and we're going to slowly roll to our mat. Let's pull those knees into the chest. Now, let's slowly bicycle those legs. Nice range of motion through the hip joint. Let's press those shoulders into our mat. Let's lengthen the spine. And again, let's draw those knees into the chest. Now let's place our feet on the mat. Let's extend the right leg long, keeping the left knee bent. And place our arms out to the side. Palms are down in a T shape. We are going to lift our hips straight off our mat, turn towards the right side, and then we are gently going to fall. Okay, on out of focus. So let's just pause and breathe here. I'm pressing my shoulders in the mat. We're getting a nice stretch through the hip into the lower back as we gently allow that knee to fall towards the right side. Let's place that foot on the mat as we lift our hips, return to center. Slowly lower down, let's switch sides. Let's lift and twist and gently fall. And again, placing that foot, let's return the knees into our chest. Let's draw those knees in nice and tight. Try and fix the focus on the camera. Who doesn't want to focus? Okay, knees to chest. You guys hold that. There we go. I'll focus now for the moment. All right, knees to chest. Now let's bring those feet up for happy baby. And just gently opening up the hips. So my knees are drawn in towards my armpits. And we are pressing that spine into the mat.
Now let's bring those knees back into our chest. And now again, let's pedal those, those legs, let's bicycle those legs for those hip joints. Nice, long legs. And now knees to chest. And if you have a strap, let's take your strap along the balls of one foot, we're gonna extend that leg out, stretch out that other leg. If we can, we can bend that foot if we need to. We're gonna start with a hamstring stretch. And now let's switch hands and let's cross that leg over our body, extending out the arm. And that shoulder always stays planted on our mat. Inhaling up, and now let's switch hands again. We are gonna guide that leg open to gently stretch out our inner thigh here. And now let's inhale up and now let's switch legs. Coming first to that hamstring stretch on the opposite side. Now we have the same strap, same hand as leg holding the strap and gently pulling that leg towards my chest as I feel that hamstring just slowly give way just a little bit. And now let's switch hands and let's cross that leg gently over the body. Now inhaling up and let's open up that inner thigh.
now slowly coming up. Let's bring those knees back into our chest. Now let's gently stretch and come into a comfortable position for our final relaxation. Let's stretch out long onto our mats. And let's completely sink into that mat. Allow our body to become heavy.
All right, let's slowly wiggle those fingers and toes. And when you're ready, let's draw those knees into the chest. And let's gently roll to one side. Let's come up into that seated position again together. And let's come back into our breath. Let's remind ourselves the power of coming onto our mat. Giving ourselves time to be silent, to be quiet. And that as we move our body, that we turn our thoughts, turn our thoughts off and bring our breath deep inside. The power of that snowball effect that we create. Because as we do that, Find ourselves that breath, that time, that silence, that sense of peace. We create a great attitude, and that attitude comes into a great mood. And that mood now, as we leave our mats, turns into a great day, which will then become a great year, which then will become a great life. So let's place one hand on our heart and one hand on our stomach, and may your journey off your mat bring you peace and harmony to your body and soul. May your journey off your mat bring you peace and harmony to your body and soul.